Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and it's Saturday, and we all know what that means by now. It's weekly purchases, the time of the week where we find out what was brought to me via Amazon, DHL, UPS, United States Postal Service, uh, who else? Oh yeah, Waylon Jennings, all the usual suspects, it's weekly purchases, our time of the week where we talk a lot of figure news at the beginning, and in the back half I show everything that I got through those places, and of course the stores. And speaking of the stores, this week on the channel Action Figure Hunt, it was the great Walgreens G.I. Joe hunt. And if you guys saw that, you know what I picked up, but we'll talk about it a little later in weekly purchases. Walgreens coming in hot this week. Just great time to be a Walgreens customer. I even saved uh, $5 with a Walgreens coupon, so hot tip, deal of the day. Save $5 on your G.I. Joes if you're lucky enough to be a rewards member. But a big week of Action Figure Hunts, longer video than normal because I went to all these Walgreens and a lot of their stores uh, around the area. So a lot of good finds this week. Uh, we'll see what next week brings. It'll be interesting. Um, but had the figure hunting video this week. We uh, talked a lot of stuff this week. We did Legend Series 9 from Target. We unboxed the whole thing uh, figure by figure and then we did the whole wrap up like we do. Uh, at the very end, I dropped that Friday morning with my rankings at the very end. We also finished up Fan Takeover, Series 1, the Amazon exclusive. We did Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, released the whole video with all of them uh, with my rankings as well. I wasn't super hot on that Fan Takeover line, as you guys probably know if you watched the video. Uh, series 2 looks to be much better. We also did a little McFarlane DC unboxings, very rare on the channel. You're not going to see a lot of them. Every once in a while we'll probably have one, but did the uh, Death Metal Batman and Bat Cycle, so if you're interested in that, check out that video. Uh, we also did our Jax video, weekly Jax video, becoming a bit of a sleeper, but we uh, do it every single Tuesday, a different Jax video. Currently, we're knee-deep in the Jax Classic Tag Team Toys R Us exclusive line. Uh, we talked about a really strong line there as well this week. Uh, next week, we're back at it with more tag teams. So we did that, and then we had our daily Star Wars unboxings, of course. Every day, a new Star Wars unboxing. We got a name of Star Wars Friday night video. We named an Ewok. There was no name on the package, so we gave them our own names. We did that. Uh, we opened up uh, the Gaming Great Scout Trooper. Hot garbage. I was so mad. One of my angriest reviews in a long time. I did not like opening that thing up. It was hot garbage. I don't recommend it, so watch that video as well. A lot of Star Wars with that bonus video every day. The last few weeks, I'm sure some of you guys have noticed, I've been on a breakneck pace. I've been doing three videos a day. There's a lot of stuff to get to. Uh, next week, probably three videos, possibly, we'll see, don't hold me to it, but uh, you'll at least have uh, two videos a day, because we'll do a bonus Star Wars, and maybe another bonus one, we'll see, we'll continue uh, raging on with the reviews uh, while we can, so there you go, so a lot of stuff going on on the channel today. This week in my regular life, I had to film a video as well, uh, so I took some of this and filmed it uh, for my real world job, and actually I had to film a thank you video uh, for all the grocery workers in the United States. Uh, specifically the Midwest. So I filmed a video like that and I found out my video goes right in between Patrick Mahomes and Kyle Bush. So I'm right in between those two. Uh, I'm the Oreo to their cookie. Uh, I'm sure my video will be the best. I mean, who, who do you want to hear from? Me or Patrick Mahomes? I mean, come on. Super Bowl, action figure collector, extraordinaire of the Midwest. I would hear from me every single day of the week. I don't know about you, but... Um, so there's that. So let's get into some of the news this week. We'll get to it. There's a lot of news this week. Uh, Marvel, their Fan First Friday, some Super 7 news, a little wrestling news, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So let's start it off, though. Let's talk Thunder Tank. I still have not pre-ordered yet. we got a few weeks to go, a few, maybe a month to go. Uh, I'm going to do it the last minute. I think I'm going to pre-order it from Super 7. That's the cheapest option out there. Um, but I don't want them holding my money for uh, as little amount of possible time as I can. So I'm going to wait for the last minute to pre-order that thing. That's the way I'm going to do it. But as usual with Super 7, it looks like they'll have my money for a full year until that does ship out. But good news for you guys jumping into Thundercats right now. They did announce, very similar to Ninja Turtles, they're re-releasing Panthro and Lion-O. There's going to be some changes. Most likely it'll be the weapons like they did with the Ninja Turtles, but they're going to put those up for pre-order. I think they're up right now. If you guys missed out on those, you can order those as well. Uh, with your Thunder Tank. So make sure you get Panthro and Lino. Very solid figures. We unbox those on the channel. So if you missed it, go back and get them. So there you go. Some little Thunder, t Thunder Tank, Thundercats talk. We also saw this week, uh, Ringside Collectibles will have it. Use discount code KYLE, save 10%. You guys know how it is. 
the new Jushin Thunder Liger. Uh, basically his debut attire. You know, most people think his debut attire, and even me until uh, maybe a year ago or so, you think of that classic WCW attire versus Brian Pillman. You think that's kind of his debut attire. I guess debut for the United States, but not Japan. They're going to release, uh, it's going to be on Ringside Collectibles, like I said, his debut attire for Jushin Thunder Liger. So got to get that. I got all the other ones. I can't pass up that one. You're looking at about a $50, $55 price point, though. But like I said, use discount code Kyle. Save 10% on that one. Uh, we also saw NECA coming in hot this week. Uh, Ninja Turtles. Figure the Ninja Turtle NECA cartoon turtles in disguise. That We've talked about that a couple weeks back. Uh, NECA, I think it was supposed to be a holiday surprise, but there must have been a delay in there somewhere. We have not seen packaged images yet, but we saw a lot of cool um, loose packages, uh, artwork packages, stuff like that um, of the loose figures this week. So that means they're coming maybe in the next month, that's my guess, uh, but it'll be $100 Target exclusive. But kind of cool with all the accessories, the extra heads. Uh, I know our boy Waylon Jennings, he's going to get two of them. That's what he said, two. He's crazy. Um, so we did see that. We also saw uh, Genghis Frog and Rasputin from the uh, Frogs, uh, the first two pack. We did see in package images of those. So I got to think you'll start seeing those maybe the end of next week, hitting some areas. I'm guessing my area probably two weeks from now. That's usually how it goes when we see in package images of the NECA cartoon turtles at Target. Uh, so I'm going to be on the lookout for those. Going to have to get those frogs. Turtle anxiety about ready to start up again. Uh, we talked about it last week, and I think we talk about it every week. It seems to be getting easier. I'm seeing a lot of turtles. You guys watch my figure hunting video. There's a lot of turtles on the market right now. A lot of past sets. I think the turtle anxiety might be going away. I think uh, supply is catching up with demand. Uh, all those COVID you know, increases in collectors we always talk about, uh, they're finding a way to appease everybody. But now we're starting to see, you know, Dragon Graniator, Roadkill Rodney and the Triceraton starting to peg warm. Baxter and Splinter starting to peg warm. Uh, I'm worried that once COVID slows down, you know, they keep saying in the summer things are going to get more back to normal. We're going to see a lot of collectors walking away from things. Hey, I'm going to spend my money on vacation. I'm going to spend it on trips. I'm going to spend it on summertime activities, uh, maybe concerts, sporting events. Some of that action figure money won't be there anymore, and we're going to see a big wave of not just Turtles, but a lot of other lines where they made all these extra figures to meet the demand. That demand's going to walk away, and you're going to see a crash. And you're going to see a lot of clearance items, and you're going to see a lot of uh, things on eBay, stuff like that. For long-term collectors out there, you're going to be able to get yourself a deal. So that's the old pro tip of the day. There it is, free of charge. You know, I'm giving stock tips, I'm giving toy tips, free of charge out there. So there you go. Um, we also saw the big, the big results or the big news this week really, uh, uh was the Marvel Legends. Uh, they had the Fan First Friday on Hasbro, uh, Pulse YouTube channel. They didn't really have any earth shattering announcements. A lot of stuff we kind of already knew. What a few things trickled in that was new, but we talked, uh, they did talk about, uh, Walgreens. They're getting all the cosmic exclusives this year. Uh, we know the Silver Surfer just recently shipped from Walgreens, uh, the Dark Silver Surfer, I guess you'd call it. That one came out, so that one should start hitting the stores, I would think, pretty soon. Uh, a little spoiler alert in weekly purchases, you might see that one this week. So it's definitely shipping from Walgreens. But they also announced sometime in May, it sounds like Nova, that was talked about before in one of the Hasbro First Fridays. Uh, we saw package shots of that Nova figure. He is actually going to be coming out in May for Walgreens exclusive. No pre-order or anything. It sounds like you're just going to have to get him in the stores. I think that'll be fairly easy, but you never know. Walgreens is either they have tons of them or they're really rare. That just seems the way Walgreens goes. But they did announce Quasar. Talk about a trip back to the 90s. Uh, you know, you guys know I collected the majority of my comics the early 90s through like 96. So like 89 to 96 were my prime comic years. I remember Quasar number one, I think, came out somewhere during that time frame, maybe. And I passed on it. It never was a really cool character for me. Maybe people like Quasar, but my time frame with my friends and people that collected and stuff, Quasar was, I don't know if a joke is the right word, but we just kind of joked. Oh, did you get that Quasar number one? Yeah, we didn't. Nobody did. But uh, the cosmic hero, cosmic character, I'll pick him up. I do have a sentimental attachment because I do remember those comics back in the day. Uh, and they haven't really created a Marvel Legends of them in the past, so I'll be picking that one up. But it sounds like he's coming out after Nova, like right on the heels though it sounds like. So I would look to him, for him to come end of May, maybe June time frame. Uh, so that's the, uh, those ones for Walgreens. But then um, 
they talked about uh, some of the other ones that were coming out. Some weird ones, a little bit of head scratchers. Uh, Civil Warrior, I believe, was the guy's name. It's a Captain America from uh, one of the video games, and I don't play video games. I've talked about that before. Not really familiar with this character. It's basically a repaint. They really spent a lot of time talking about the shield on this one, uh, being updated a different shield. Not a must-have. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what wave or where that was going to be sold. I don't know if we caught that in there or if they even said, but that one is coming. Uh, so they did talk about that a little bit. And then they also talked about an AI Tony Stark, another character I'm not super familiar with. It was almost reminding me of the old school Force Ghost from Star Wars, the old Star Wars toys, um, with the kind of clearish blue head. Uh, but you can also make um, a regular Iron Man figure. And it's really like the 80th anniversary or even kind of a lot like that retro Iron Man from way back, maybe five years ago. On the retro card, uh, that's what it reminded me of. So give me another chance to get that old school Iron Man look. Kind of is what it is on that one, but those two really didn't do a whole lot for me. And then they also talked about, uh, of course, the new Bring On the Villains wave that's been talked about and hinted about, and they've shown us people. They haven't. They finally announced the whole wave this week. The one I'm most excited about. Huge Wolverine fan. Grew up in the glory days of Wolverine comics, Lady Deathstrike. I've been so tempted to get that Toy Biz one over the years. I hate that figure. I hate the way it looks, but I need a Lady Deathstrike. I need the Reavers in my collection, and they're coming out with a cool Lady Deathstrike. I like the looks of that figure a lot. The big oversized claw hands, like I know Lady Deathstrike, brings me back to my old Wolverine days. So I'm all in on that Lady Deathstrike. Got to pick that one up. We also saw the AIM Scientist, which we saw pictures of before. Uh, we saw a new Red Skull, a more classic Red Skull. Uh, I'm okay with that. I only have the MCU Red Skull in my collection. I passed on the other ones. I was picking and choosing um, for whatever reason. I do regret that a little bit, but this one will fill a nice void for me, and I don't know if I need seven or eight Red Skulls in my collection. I think two is probably okay, but who knows? You guys might, uh, mileage may differ on that one. But we saw Red Skull, and then we saw uh, Red Hood, and that's a guy I'm not familiar with. Um, a very good civilian-looking character when you take the hood and the weapons off him. So I could see a lot of custom fodder with that guy. Uh, you can make a lot of, you know, we get tons of heads with these Marvel Legends figures. You can make uh, somebody new. You can make some other characters, some background characters. I can see wrestling fans using this uh, character as crowd personnel or crowd people in the crowd. Uh, a lot to do with this character. A lot more than it seems like on the surface, I guess you would say. And then we saw Arcade. I'm really excited about that one, being an X-Men fan back in the 90s, of course, and knowing my X-Men. Two heads on that arcade. I'm not really sure which one to use. I like actually both head on that one. We'll see. We'll unbox them on the channel when uh, when they eventually come out. Uh, probably late uh, spring is my guess. Uh, but those look like really good figures. And then the uh, build a figure there was a really strange one. Talk about a deep cut. And I love a deep cut as much as everybody else. But this is a character I've never heard of. Zemu or Zemu. Uh, but basically, it's your when to go build a figure just with a different head for the most part. I mean, I haven't inspected the figure. I don't have the figure. But looking at the pictures, I was looking at my desk while I was watching this, and there was Wendigo right inside. So it's Wendigo, just a little bit different. Really cool. You guys know me. I love my Sasquatches, my Bigfoots, my Wampas. More to come on that. Uh, I love all that kind of stuff. So I'm all in on this guy, even though if I don't know the character. I don't know if he's from the Thor universe or where exactly. Really cool big figure. I like big figures. I like hairy figures. So I'm all in. I'll pick that bad boy up. I'm okay with it. We'll do it. So there it is. There's the bring on the bad guys from the Hasbro Marvel Legends team. And I always talk about it. The Marvel Legends team usually knocks it out of the park more than every other team out there. Uh, they seem to have their hands on the pulse of, for the most part, what the fans want. Uh, hands on the pulse, a little uh, joke there. Haha, <laughs> funny. But, uh, you know, they everybody's got their doubters and complainers and stuff. But for quality-wise and deep-cut figures and getting you the figures you want... They do a really good job. Uh, you know, WWE Elite team from Mattel does a good job. Star Wars team from Hasbro does a good job. But consistently for me, I think the Marvel Legends team, at least for me, get it right the most of the time. You guys can tell me if you think differently, but really like the Marvel Legends team. I was really hoping we'd get some more of the classic Spider-Man announcements this year. Uh, nothing yet on that. Hopefully that line does continue. We need Scorpion, Rhino, Smythe, a lot of those guys. Uh, but supposedly this is going to be the biggest year for Marvel Legends ever. So there's going to be a lot of announcements to come. It sounds like this is just a little appetizer. You know, Toy Fair is normally right around this time. I think it's maybe actually this weekend. So I, I do assume the next few weeks we should get a lot of announcements from all toy companies. Uh, but we'll see if that happens. But usually this is the time of year there's a lot of announcements that lead us into the summer time frame and so forth for uh, toy news. And then Todd McFarlane throws some curveballs. I'm not sure what to think of Todd McFarlane. 
Go back this week and watch that DC McFarlane unboxing. I talk a little bit about McFarlane and the history and his toys back in the day with Spawn. I was all in on Spawn back in the day. The comic book, the toys. It was just a great time. He, he single-handedly, if you ask me, made toys what they are today. He made everybody improve their product. More articulation, all that kind of stuff. I do have some faults with the modern day stuff. Uh, just like every line, there's faults. It's not really for me. I don't like the scale. There's some issues here and there. But boy, I tell you what, I was tempted. He showed that like cowboy spawn figure and then an old school figure that I remember well from when I collected back in the day, the Redeemer. I love that Redeemer figure back in the day and this new one looks really cool. So I don't know. I'm not going to go down the spawn road. I can't. Maybe one spawn figure. Well, actually, I already have that Mortal Kombat spawn. So I'm good on spawns. I need to take a step back from some lines. I don't need any more lines to collect and I'm not going to get into spawn unless, uh, no, I'm just not going to do it. No one less nothing. I'm not doing it. I'm not collecting Spawn figures. Uh, those days have passed. Those set sail in the 90s for young Kyle. Uh, so there you go. Looking at my notes, I think that's all I got. Looking at it really quick. So there it is. Yeah. Album of the week this week, Motorhead. Two weeks in a row. Huge announcement for me, at least, this week. Uh, live in Berlin, coming in April. Uh, the new Motorhead Live album from uh, 2015, I believe it was. Heck of a year for Motorhead that year. I think I saw Motorhead three or four times in 2015. I went on the Motorhead cruise that year, I remember. Uh, I think I saw him in St. Louis. Um, obviously, it was towards the end of uh, Lemmy's life. He was struggling here and there. But the shows were still better than any other show I could see. Uh, but I'm a Motorhead apologist. I love everything and anything Motorhead. So happy to have that coming out in April. CD and DVD. So it should be really, really good uh, for me. Give me something to do and... Uh, any Motorhead is good. I know some people say, oh, Motorhead, you know, Lemmy's dead. Don't release stuff. I say release every concert you can. Uh, we want to keep Motorhead alive. Uh, it's a little touch to Motorhead. Obviously, there's not new stuff. Hopefully, that Lemmy solo album comes out here in the next year. It would be great if that came out in 2021. I'd be all in on that as well. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And I forgot to mention last week, when I did go to Ikea, some people said, hey, Kyle, what did you get at Ikea? I got one Detolf. I needed one more for my current space. Rumors that the Detolf is being uh, deleted and eliminated. I don't know if that's true or not, but I had to be safe uh, and get one. So I was up there. I picked up one Detolf, uh, and that was it. They didn't have any more after that. So uh, hopefully that's not the case. As you guys know, I love the Detolfs. But I picked up one of those, and I picked up uh, two more Billy Bookcases. Uh, I got a lot of Billy Bookcases to get. Uh, the mine's working for my 2022 tour. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. I got a lot of changes to come. You guys thought this year's 2021 video was cool. 2022 should be even better. Can I top it? I got one more master display plan in me, I think, for my rooms. Uh, I have one big room I haven't even touched yet. So we'll see what happens. Um, but that'll come in 2022. But in the meantime, check out 2021's display tour video. If you missed it or haven't watched it for whatever reason, check it out. It's a good one. Uh, you can see how everything happens. Uh, what every display is. I have a part B video that explains every display, how I keep them clean, all that kind of fun stuff. So go back on the channel, watch those if you missed those. Uh, really fun to do. Obviously, it was a lot of work getting my displays ready. It was a year, literally a year getting ready for that video. And uh, we knocked it out of the park, I think. So we'll see what happens in 2022 with the next video. But until then, we got the main appetizer. I guess it wouldn't be the appetizer. This is the main course. This was just the appetizer. We're getting to the main course and what that main course is, is weekly purchases. <clears throat> All right, let's get down to it. We got a lot of weekly purchases this week. This week went off the rails real quick. I thought it was going to be a slower week. Then Walgreens came in hot. We had a few other things that you guys saw in the Toy Hunt video. And then the deal started flowing through. You guys know I always say, gotta get a deal. Look for that cheapest cost. Well, a lot of that stuff uh, came through. I saw it online or wherever. Had to pick it up. Gotta get a deal. It's only a deal when you see it the first time. If you wait, you play that long game sometimes. When a deal comes up, you lose out. And that's uh, what I did not want to happen. So I picked up quite a few things this week. Uh, some late pickups as well. Right before filming this, you'll see it in next week's figure hunting video, but I found some stuff right before this video was filmed. So uh, the hits keep rolling, the hits, hits keep coming, just the way it is. So there you go. Uh, but I will say today is my wedding anniversary. My wife Angie and I, it's our wedding anniversary. I'm going to take her out to the finest McRib I can find. We're going to go to the classy McDonald's, the one that has the play place so the kids can have fun too. So that's the plan. Um, and I want to say, you know, all these things I got in weekly purchases, that will be her gift for our uh, wedding anniversary. It's been like 20 years now. So 
uh, that's fine. You know, she, she expects toys and old Star Wars figures and wrestling figures. Nothing more a girl like my wife would want. But she might have got a pool this week, if you saw on uh, the weekly purchases. Hot pickup. If you guys are looking for a pool, get one now. They're going to be really short again this summer. From uh, all the things I'm hearing in the distribution world and the pool maker world, uh, get your pool now. Walmarts are putting them out pretty cheap. I mean, I don't know about pretty cheap, but they're out there now. Uh, you're going to pay big bucks down the line if you want it close to summer. Pro tip, got to get a deal. Get your pool now. Pool salesman right here. All right, let's start it off. We got a lot of stuff, and it crosses all genres, and that's what we're going to do. First off, let's get these first. I bought these online on eBay. Little cardboard uh, display things. These go uh, to Star Wars. Uh, they kind of fit around the, the Tantiv Four, and then the uh, Han, Han Solo Carbonite Chamber. That's where they go around there. So just a little way to dress up uh, your displays, and I picked those up this week. So they're on uh, eBay. I'm not sure exactly where, so I'm no help. There you go. Picked those up this week. Also got uh, a little old school Marvel Legends Constrictor. I did not have him. Had to pick him up this week. Playing the long game on that one. Got a heck of a deal. Now my Serpent Society is complete. Finally. Nothing like completing a line. Uh, bringing them all together. And speaking of completing a line, the day has finally come. Let's bust out the old kazoo. Do, 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 do. Kazoo master. Kyle Peterson right here. How about WCW OSFTM figures? Finally complete. When I say complete, I am missing the dark skin Jimmy Hart figure. I don't quite count that as uh, having a complete collection. It's more of kind of a rare air variant out there. Uh, I'll be on the lookout for it. Maybe one of these days I'll pick it up. But uh, the main line figures, I'm complete. Now, first off, I got the Hulk Hogan. Not the best condition. This is going to be a little bit of a placeholder. I'm sure I'll find a better one. But this is the no beard, no strap beard Hulk Hogan. Got a few dings and dents like these mostly do. This is probably the worst shape one in my whole collection by a long shot. But uh, it'll be a good placeholder in the meantime. Once I find a good Hogan, I'll buy it and I'll sell this one as a little coupon action to pay offset that one. But the big pickup was the baby blue Ric Flair. The hardest of the Ric Flair figures to find. Finally found him out, uh, not out in the wild, but online. Got a good deal, got him. Got all flares. So I think there's, what, four flares? Got all of them now. So once again... <laughs> hitting the old kazoo finishing off a collection so there you go and then wampa madness has swept the waves of my channel you guys know i love the wampa i've had all these wampa unboxings the last few weeks might have another one next week absolutely love the wampa uh it's funny as the major pod is getting into wampa madness too uh, i don't know if they're following suit or what but uh, matt cardona is going to be opening up check youtube check out their web uh, site and all that fun stuff major pod they're opening up one of these wampas and they'll see if it's white. This one's got a little yellowness to it, but it's uh, not terrible. Just need a little clean, little bath. And I got this for free from my buddy Gage Octane, Midwest wrestling legend. Uh, met up with him, and he said, I got you a wampa. I'll give it to you. And he hooked me up with this wampa for free. For free. Got to get a deal. That's a good deal. Going to go in my wampa collection. So there you go. And when we're talking wampas, we're talking about got to get a deal. Uh, I put on my social media I'm th as I'm throwing things around. Uh, hey, anybody, am I missing any Wampas? And I'm missing a Black Series one that's a San Diego Comic-Con, I think, 2020 release. Uh, it's the same as the one I had before. It's just missing the blood for the most part. I'll probably pick it up. But one that really caught my eye, and I've seen this over the years, and I always laughed and joked, and I thought it was just horrible. But it's going to be a very funny conversation piece. I might even take this to my uh, office at work and put this on my office desk. People come into my office and say, what, what the heck is this thing? Well, kind sir, it's a Wampa. And uh, got this for $20 shipped. Uh, damaged box, which is fine. I'm going to open it up anyways. Got to get a deal. These are pretty pricey. And for $20 shipped, I think I got a heck of a steal. Luke Skywalker and the Wampa. It's like a teddy bear. I absolutely detest these Star Wars uh, dolls, figures, whatever you want to call them. These big oversized ones. There's tons of these. Uh, but I had to get the Wampa. I just saw it. I said, you know what? I, I, I owe it to myself. So I started searching around. Hitting the old usual spots, trying to find one, and I found this one. Beat up and damaged. 20 bucks all day long. I'll take that. So uh, maybe we'll unbox this on the channel. It'll be a quick unboxing. Part of our daily Star Wars unboxings. As you guys know, we unbox Star Wars figures every single day. All genres, all across the board. We're going to have quite the Star Wars uh, display collection in 2022. So stay tuned for that. So there you go. A little wrestling. I already have this one, Min in Box. 
Got a good deal on the RVD Best Buy exclusive. Came with the, uh, what was it, the Rise and Fall of ECW DVD back in the day. Uh, we'll unbox this one. Um, I got this one to unbox because the other one's going to be mint. You guys know my Jack's Ruthless Aggression collection. Man, we might be done with that thing very soon. Very soon. It's dangerously close. I might only need one more and I'm working on it. So we'll see. We could be done. Does anybody have a complete Ruthless Aggression collection? We're talking the Adrenalines, the Treacherous Trios, the Ring Rages, the Ruthless Aggression Mainline, uh, a lot of the exclusives. Um, does anybody have one of those? I might be one of the only people in the world, the only one crazy enough to do that, uh, to go along with my uh, complete Mattel Elite collection. So I'm just making it happen over here, you know, getting ready. I got this kazoo at the ready. You never know. But uh, RVD, a lot of fun memories with that RVD. I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you're my age, you knew the specialness of ECW, and we loved that documentary when it came out. Had to get the RVD to go along with it. You had to. There was no way you couldn't. So there you go. We touched on this one earlier. Walgreens exclusive, Marvel Legends Silver Surfer. Came through the door this week. Kudos to Walgreens. I know a lot of people complain about Amazon, about uh, you know Ringside, about Target, about Walmart. They complain about packaging and it's not packaged right. I don't know how I get so lucky. Uh, I very rarely ever have things come damaged. I'm talking all those ones I just mentioned. It's just I don't know. Maybe I just I'm just uh, very lucky. I have a four leaf clover in my wallet. Uh, it keeps me good. I recommend it. I don't know. But Walgreens goes above and beyond. They put brown packing tape and they wrap this whole thing with bubble wrap. That's something you don't really expect from somebody like a Walgreens out there, but who knows? They're getting in the fig game, and a lot of people are like, why does Walgreens get all these exclusives? And the thing I always heard was uh, the one of the buyers at Walgreens is actually a toy collector like you and me, and uh, he wanted these, and with the closing of Toys R Us, there was a gap in the market. I love it. I know some people hate it because maybe they don't have a lot of Walgreens. I got like 25 Walgreens in uh, my surrounding area. So it's kind of fun every once in a while, like uh, you saw my action figure hunt this week. I hit Walgreen after Walgreens. You don't know what you're going to find. They have exclusives from Star Wars, Marvel Legends, uh, soon to be G.I. Joe, I'd have to imagine. They have Power Ranger exclusives and, and so on and so on. So a nice little place to get some collections at. Picked up the Silver Surfer online, of all things. Very simple process. Kudos to Walgreens. We'll be getting our Quasar and Novas next from then. Hopefully it's just as easy as that. So stay tuned. Uh, you guys saw this when we were picking up that hot pool at Walmart. I did find this for the first time, and I said, what the heck, $9.98 or whatever it is, The Fiend. I think this is a very good basic for what it is, so I had to pick this up. So I'll add it. I'm going to do a massive basic unboxing. I'm thinking about bringing one of my kids. Usually that's what I do. I have all these basics. We unbox them just rapid fire, talk about them real quick. Maybe I'll have my kids and I do that, or maybe I'll bring my wife Angie. We'll have it as the anniversary night basic unboxing blowout she would love to talk wrestling figures with all of you guys and comment on them and stuff i'm sure so we'll see but speaking of wrestling figures the hot deal like i said right before we started filming got a hot hot tip from my boy david c anderson i made the journey found it right today masters of the wwe universe series five easy for me to say how about macho man randy savage through the door gotta love it macho man of course, you got Ricky, the Dragon Steamboat. There he is. You got to have all of them, don't you? Rowdy Roddy Piper. There it is. And then, of course, Becky Lynch, the first female WWE Masters of the Universe figure. So got these picked up this week. So David Anderson, hot tip, went to the store. Bam, there they are. Pro tip out there, though. Unfortunately, these are not ringing up at the cash registers. And that either goes one of two ways. They tell you, oh, sorry, we can't sell these. They don't ring up and they take them from you and you sit there and cry right at the register. I've had it happen. It's, it's really embarrassing. Uh, but it fits in the whole Walmart uh, motif when you sit there and cry in the aisle. Uh, but luckily, the two stores I went to today were both extremely helpful. And uh, they it took some time, had to talk to them, took them to the aisle, showed them the tags. Hey, WWE Masters Universe, 1492, they're on the tag. Hey, what do you think? Uh, got these rang up at the first stop, but then he said, hey, the other store, Southeast 14th in the Des Moines area, also had uh, the Masters of the WWE Universe, and you guys know me. This is my opening set. I need to open these bad boys up, and this is all they had uh, outside of David C. Anderson. I got him a set as well, minus the Piper. Still looking for a Piper for him, but got those. I said, I need unpunched. You guys know me. I got to have a card set in the productive cases, and they got to be unpunched. And thankfully, the Masters of the WWE Universe anxiety is lifted. Came in hot. Southeast 14th. Picked these up. 
my girl Alana in the toy department came and bailed me out at customer service. Uh, there's the other macho man. These are all unpunched, thankfully. They would not ring up at that store either. So I had to go there and a lot of talking, a lot of sweet talking, a lot of eyes and a lot of winks. I had my Motorhead shirt on, so they were you know, really impressed and uh, got these rang up for me and oh, on I went. So I am done with Series 5, just like that. I love it when you go to sleep one night, you wake up the next day, you complete a collection. And it's like, what a surprise. It just all happened in one day. I got both sets all done, good to go. Moving on, Series 6 is going to be a game changer. With that Ultimate Warrior figure, I'm going to have to have so many of those Ultimate Warriors, it's going to be ridiculous. But we'll cross that bridge when it comes. It'll probably be a few months, I would have to think, before those really start hitting. But be on the lookout for your Walmarts. I think if your Walmart hasn't found these yet, should be this upcoming week. So keep an eye out there. You'll find those bad boys of Masters Universe Series 5. So there you go. That's the start of weekly purchases. I'm going to clean this stuff up, and we got a whole lot more to go. All right, weekly purchases roll on, and this really, look at this, this is one of the biggest weeks we've ever had in weekly purchases. So much stuff through the door this week, it's just the ebbs and flows, we talked about it earlier. Sometimes you got really big weeks, sometimes a little bit smaller. Hopefully next week's a little bit smaller. We need a little break. Not a lot of stuff uh, out in the marketplace in the stores, so maybe it'll be a slower week next week, but we'll see. Let's talk pro tips. There's been a lot of pro tips on this video. Here's another one. Gotta get a deal, pro tip of the day. Here's a good pro tip. When pre-orders for new items like the new Marvel Legends we talked about earlier, when those go up, yeah, pre-order them. Always have a fail-safe. Pre-order them from Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. But sometimes when you pre-order things, you forget, uh, you go find these, like these ninjas. I found these in the stores like two months ago, was it? Maybe? Uh, but I had them on pre-order from Amazon, of all places, and I totally forgot I had them on pre-order. And then, what do you know, surprise mail day, two more hand ninjas. Pro tip, go in and cancel those pre-orders when you find them in the stores, or else you're going to have two more hand ninjas. Uh, the silver lining, if there is one here, at least they're army builder figures, uh, and that stilt man. My stilt man is going to continue to grow. I didn't really plan on having him grow, but I think this is the universe telling me, Kyle, you need that stilt man bigger, you need more ninjas. I can very easily take these back, but you know what? I'm not gonna. See you later. Keeping them. So there you go. Pro tip, though, if that's a normal figure, cancel. Cancel. There you go. GameStop this week. Be checking your GameStops as they have restocked probably the best Star Wars Black Series figure of all time. Six inch. There it is. The Gamorrean Guard. Or as I called him as a little kid, Pigman. Uh, probably the best six inch scaled Star Wars figure of all time. This is, I believe, a Target exclusive back in the day. I already have one of these, but I said, you know what? I need two. This one's so cool. I like it. Uh, I don't know how many years ago this originally came out. See if it says 2018. So it's been a long time since this has been out. But your game stops are getting this bad boy. So definitely pick this one up. A game changer figure. Absolutely love it. See you later. Pick that up. Check your game stops. There you go. Speaking of Star Wars, this is one figure. I love Jabba the Hutt, and I love all the crazy alien creatures in the Jabba the Hutt, you know, area and all the movies, everything else. Here's the deep cut one, but a little harder to find. Old Hermiodal. Or as they call him, Hear Me Yodel. Hermie Yodel. There it is. But talk about a big, weird-looking character. Had to pick this guy up. Possibly one of the ugliest Star Wars characters of all time. Uh, getting a little harder to find, so if you're on the fence on this one, get it. You can find him for about $20 to $25. I've seen him all the way up to $40. Uh, but I'm trying to get everybody from Jabba's universe. We'll just call it Jabba's universe. I'm trying to get all those characters. That's one I had to have. Finally found him at a good price. Picked him up. Now here's something crazy, uh, I don't think we've ever talked about it on the channel, Megalopolis. You guys have probably heard of Megalopolis Toy Store, online toy store. I think they're based out of Utah if I remember right. Uh, they were hot on the market a year, year and a half ago, something like that. And then things went south in a hurry. Uh, it stopped fulfilling orders out there. I ordered a lot of stuff early on. They had some really good clearance specials all the time. Got to play the long game sometimes, and I would. I'd hit Megalopolis. I'd get stuff really cheap sent to me. It usually took a longer than I'd like to ship, but they did a very good job. I never had any issues. And then I finally used my points. They had a point system, and I had a bunch of points saved up, and I bought one of the Power Ranger figures I needed, and I got it free with my points. And this was back in, like I want to say, March of 2020. They never shipped this thing to me. They got it in stock, never shipped it. Uh, luckily, this was a free points thing, so I didn't have any money tied up in Megalopolis, but I know probably some of you guys out there 
waiting and waiting for your uh, figures. They had your money. There's people that they've had their money for over a year now and have not fulfilled their order. So Megalopolis, I don't know what the heck's going on with them. Uh, but out of the blue, for a while, I was sending them daily emails saying, hey, where's my figure? Where's my figure? Just being annoying because you know what? They'd, they'd at least cancel it or say something. They wouldn't do that. Uh, but finally, one day they just answered an old email from months ago and said, hey, sorry, we're not getting this in. We've refunded your points. Feel free to reuse them. So I said, well, I know this place absolutely sucks right now, but I'll see if I can find something that's worth my points and I'll just order it just to have. And lo and behold, I was extremely shocked this week when uh, they came in beat up, a little damaged, but at the end of the day, they were free. 100% free ship, 100% with points free. I can't complain. Megalopolis came through. Got my boy Han Solo and Lando. I'll open both these guys up. These were the only two things I could find on their site that I could use my points for. So, And I didn't have these, so I said, you know what, whatever. I'm just happy I got my points redeemed. I got these. I'm never doing business with Megalopolis again like everybody else out there. Uh, really disappointing. Came on really strong, came on hot, but once they started saying you could buy stock in their company and all this, uh, you know, you got to call a spade a spade. When things look too good to be true, they probably are. Uh, something was fishy with that. Once that went down, I knew something was up. Uh, something just didn't feel right. And then all of a sudden they stopped shipping orders and blah, blah, blah. Now I don't know if they're going to make it. I heard they closed their retail store. I don't know. For those of you guys that lost money or haven't been fulfilled, I feel bad for you. I'm just glad I got mine. So see you later. See you later. Keep up the good fight. Keep looking. And then they did send these things. I don't even know what this is. This reminds me of like 70s little people. Fisher Price little people. They sent me these two things. They're the exact same thing. I have no idea what they are. Pin mates. Wooden collectible. I don't know. But these look like something that my wife would love for our anniversary. So this might be a good anniversary gift. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll slide it across the table. And uh, when I get her McRib, I'll slide this over and say, Hey Angie, there you go. <laughs> That's from me. I got these and they were free that's the best part I didn't have to pay anything see you later um, but no I'll, we're actually gonna go to a really fancy dinner we're actually gonna take the kids so uh, more to come maybe maybe we'll film the whole thing it'll be great you guys can just get a seat at the table with us anyways got this one this week Marvel Legends deluxe edition Thanos very happy to get this one and this is one of the coolest deluxe figures uh, we're going to unbox this on the channel this week. You guys know I did get the Marvel Select recently, fairly recently, a couple months back. Love that Marvel Select. This one might replace it, but there's a lot of cool stuff with this, including this extra head, and we'll talk about it in the unboxing, but I think this is a slam dunk. Thank you, Hasbro team, once again. This is where they have the finger on the pulse, and they help us out, and we'll talk about more about this when we unbox this one. But excited to unbox this old Thanos figure. Very, very cool. How about little G.I. Joe? You guys saw my figure hunting video. This was my main want of the week and came in strong. First stop last week. Found these right away. Can't, can't like that enough. I love it when I find stuff uh, that I'm hunting for and I find it right off the bat first try. Uh, Cobra Commander, Lady J, and my boy Duke. Old school retro G.I. Joe Walmart exclusives only at Walmart. And from what I'm seeing around this week, and you guys saw my figure hunting video, getting a little easier to find on these things. Even Duke's peg warming. He's been there at one store for like five days in a row. Um, so make sure you're looking for these at Walmart. But I love the G.I. Joes. You guys know I wear my G.I. Joe love on the sleeve. I opened up Zartan. If you missed that, watch that. I haven't had a figure where I unboxed it that actually gave me chills in a long time. But that's what that Zartan figure did to me. Extremely solid. But I uh, had to get these, had to pick these bad boys up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The The 25th anniversary figures were good enough for me. I didn't really need these, but I can't pass up new G.I. Joes. I just can't. As much as I want to, I can't. I love the throwback card art, even though the cards are so flimsy on these. I do keep these in the box. I'm not going to open these up, but got those G.I. Joe uh, Walmart exclusives this week, so very happy. Let's just get into G.I. Joe. Walgreens Mania this week. Uh, I always, I'm in a lot of different toy groups out there. There's Kansas City Toy Hunters, Minneapolis Toy Hunters, the old Minnesota Toy Posse. Uh, check those guys out. Uh, I always kind of see what's going on. I'm actually touring those areas for work a lot of times, so I like to know what's going on, a little ebbs and flows. But I've always found that certain like Targets, Walgreens, Walmarts, if somebody finds one in one of those areas, usually I'm a day behind. Uh, and that's what I usually figure out that next day I can hit those stores and I'll find it. That's my cheap, uh, cheap pro tip once again. Uh, and that's what I did. I saw Kansas City was getting littered with Walgreens, uh, G.I. Joe's, and I said, ah, I can't be far behind, and that's exactly what happened. And I started off hot, as you saw in the video, 
found my boy Roadblock. You guys know I love Roadblock. I love visiting Roadblock at the stores. Unfortunately, he is off the shelves, off the pegs. No more Roadblocks to be found. But now that he's come back with a repaint, as you can see, the repainted Roadblock, not as colorful as the last one. Uh, he's back on the pegs. He'll be in your Walmarts, your Targets, and all that kind of fun stuff here very shortly. Happy to get Roadblock back. Uh, I'm going to be happy to see him on the uh, shelves again. So there you go. Got Roadblock this week at Walgreens. And then I found Zartan. You guys saw me unbox him on the channel this week. Got my Mint and Box Zartan. Uh, so very happy to have him. One of the best figures, if not the best figure of 2021 so far. Uh, got my second Zartan at Walgreens this week. And then the big hit at Walgreens. I found the G.I. Joe Cobra Infantryman. Cobra, obviously. Takes you back to Cobra Island. We had a similar figure. They released this one to the mainstream. So we'll unbox this one, of course, on the channel this week. You guys know I love G.I. Joe. A Cobra Infantry figure. Found that there. And then I did stumble across Snake Eyes, the repaint Snake Eyes. He's just missing the red dot he had on the original release. That's the really the only change I can really tell. Uh, so very interesting repaint. We like these repaints because it's the G.I. Joe Hasbro team listening to the fans saying, we don't want colorful sci-fi. We want our traditional, more traditional Joes. And that's what they're giving us with these repaints. My challenge is, I definitely need one of these repaints. But do I need two more Roadblocks? Do I need four Roadblocks? I think with these repaints, I'm just going to keep them in the box and not loose. I don't know. Things might change. And I have a feeling the Scarlet Duke and Roadblock eventually will probably hit clearance. Because I think there's a lot of collectors and a lot of G.I. Joe kids buying these if there are such a thing. Probably don't need another roadblock in their collection, so they'll pass on this repaint. So I think it'll be fairly easy to get at a clearance price down the line. At least that's what my long game brain is telling me. But we'll see. And then finally, you guys saw my figure hunting video. I just happened to go into a Target just Wednesday afternoon or late afternoon on a Wednesday. Just happened to swing in there. And Cobra Viper just chilling on the shelf all by himself, just hanging out. So very cool to find another Cobra uh, Viper. Very easy to get compared to uh, Cobra Trooper in the last Cobra Island. Uh, still extremely hard to get, I should say. But uh, easier than that first run of Cobra Island figures. And that goes, like we talked about with the Turtles, I think more supply coming out. They're trying to find that sweet spot because they don't want the liabilities of having overages. And they don't want to be caught short. They're trying to find that sweet spot. They're getting closer. They're not there yet. They're getting closer, though. I think we can all agree on that. All right, can I keep going? Uh, how about my boy Akrev? Well, you know, one of the all-time greatest drummers of all time. Uh, he's right up there with Nico McBrain and uh, Dave Lombardo. And, uh, of course, Scott Travis, the Judas Priest. And then we can't forget Mickey D from uh, Motorhead. You know, my, one of my favorite drummers of all time, Mickey D. He's really the Mickey D of uh, the galaxy and the other planets. Uh, old Akrev. Uh, don't sleep on his drumming in Jabba's Palace. See you later. Um, that's for sure. And then speaking of Star Wars, one set I've wanted. I don't really need this. I have these figures, but I really wanted this diorama. I love the display aspect of it. It's the Cantina Bar. Got Mo Man, Madon, old Hammerhead. Comes with the bar scene. They all fit together. Um, then, of course, you got uh, Ponda Baba, affectionately known as Walrus Man. And then you got old Greedo. Oh, old Greedo. Did he shoot first or not? We'll never know. Uh, but got these three. They fit the bar together. There's a few more bar sets I might pick up. Something about having that whole whole bar scene will be really cool. I do got that cardboard Power of the Force one. Uh, see you later, see you later, and see you later. Uh, but I just couldn't resist. I got those at a good price at a local toy shop. Couldn't pass them up. Speaking of that toy shop, I got the Armored Scout Scout Tank with Battle Droid from the Power of the Force. $9.99. Couldn't pass that up either. And there you go. Had to pick that up. And then I also found one of those things, spur of the moment decisions, Marvel Select. Sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but I did pick this bad boy up, the old new Spider-Man. I think this was possibly a re-release. Uh, maybe not. I don't remember. But I saw this and I said, you know what, I'm going to pick this up. And that's what I did. I didn't really need another Spider-Man. It was just caught me in a weak moment. Picked up Marvel Select Spider-Man this week. See you later. We'll unbox him on the channel as well. Uh, we still roll along. What else we got here? How about a little bit Batman? McFarlane, we talked about it last week. And then I found out, you guys saw on the channel, I unboxed the death metal stuff. And I got the Batman who laughs, the Joker, whatever. I figure if I'm going to have the Batman, I'm going to have the cycle. I got to get kind of the whole universe. Well, then I find out there's three of these Robin figures with different head sculpts. So I got two of them. So I'm missing one more. 
And it looks like on the back of the package, there's four Robins. So is there four? Is there three? I think there's only three head sculpts. I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, I'm going to need that third Robin. Maybe I'll play the long game. I'm sure it's really hard to get. Maybe I'll find it. Maybe I won't. So there you go. A little more McFarland DC. It keeps going. I'm not sure. Part of me says I should fill, finish out that wave and, and build the build a figure. I think I need two more figures to do that. I don't know. What am I doing? What am I doing? And then I picked up these tech deck things at Target. They're only like $4.99. Uh, this one comes with a cool park bench, a skateboard. My kids like these skateboards. So what I was thinking is I'll give my kid the skateboard and then I'll put up this picnic table. It'll be good for a diorama for my X-Men or wrestling or G.I. Joe, something like that. So this one comes with a picnic table. See you later. And then this one comes with the hot garbage, uh, garbage on fire. And we talk about hot garbage on the show a lot. A lot of hot garbage figures come through the door. Not so many lately, uh, but when we were hot and heavy and getting our jacks, there was a lot of hot garbage that came through. But I figured I need a hot garbage for my display, or at least on my desk. And that's what this uh, represents, hot garbage. So I thought that was kind of cool. See you later for the channel. So I had to pick that bad boy up. Speaking of hot garbage, no, not really. But this guy's name is Reek, so maybe he does smell like hot garbage. Uh, Clone Wars, Reek, if you guys remember uh, the movie there when they were fighting these guys... I gotta get all these creatures, you know, there's a, like a tiger type thing, there's like a big crab like monster type praying mantis guy, I gotta pick him up as well, but I did get Reek this week, uh, as I continue going back and getting a lot of these Star Wars figures, so there you go, and now we got one left, I think, let me look around, yeah, one left, playing a really long game, found a play set for Star Wars that is extremely hard to find. Not the easiest thing to find. I didn't want it loose because I know if you buy it loose, you're going to be missing some pieces and so forth. You guys know how that goes. Had to find this guy min on the box and I was going to only pay a good price. Uh, I thought this was not going to be shipped. I didn't think the eBay uh, seller was going to um, ship it out. I kept hitting him up. Hey, what's going on? Are you going to ship it? It should have been here by now. It said by the, you know, whatever date. Uh, no, no response, no response. Then I finally got a response, and I guess the guy was in the hospital with COVID, so I felt bad for the guy. And it finally came in, and then I let it sit in my garage for like two weeks, just in case. I don't need COVID. I haven't got it yet. I've been fighting that fight. Don't need it. Uh, so I don't know if that does anything, but I left it in my garage for two weeks just to air out, just in case, just in case. But I finally found it this week. Finally came through, very heavy. The G Geonosis Battle Arena from Star Wars Clone Wars. Uh, this is going to look really good on a shelf, big display piece. You guys know me. I love displays. I love toy sets, all that kind of stuff. And this is a heavy box. It's got a lot. It's two play sets in one. At least that's what it says in the box. So I did get this big heavy hitter this week, so I was very happy to have that come through the door. Uh, I shouldn't say it came through the door. It's been here a while. I just finally opened it up and got it here for weekly purchases, so there you go. So a lot going on this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all the videos. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed weekly purchases. You guys in the comments, let me know what you picked up this week. What did you find out in the store? Did you find some of this stuff? Did you have a crazy weekly purchases week like me? You guys let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. You've already watched this far. Hit the old like button. We're marching towards 6,000 subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed. And don't forget to follow me on social media, at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, belowthecollar.com. Get your very own See You Later t-shirt. You'll look the coolest guy in your neighborhood when you get that going. Um, but besides that, I'm Kyle. I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling out to my anniversary dinner. I'll see you guys all real soon.